Hey, hello everyone. This is Mayur. Welcome to ML Works. In this video, we'll be discussing about diffLib, a library used for finding the difference between data types like string, list of string, and the data types which are hashable. So, as part of this video in this Jupyter notebook, what we'll go through is some of the functions provided by this particular library. So, let's get started. So first we'll import the library diffLib as DL and we have already declared some variables which represent some of the sequence of uh, text and sequence of list. And then once we do that, uh, we'll find out the difference between these two strings which is string 1 and string 2 using sequence matcher. And we'll quantify the difference between these two strings using sequence matcher. DL dot sequence matcher followed by none comma str underscore one comma str underscore two dot ratio so this will give us uh, the sequence matching score and the difference between these two particular string sequence next what we'll do is we'll try to find the difference between two list of string so here what we'll do is dl dot context diff between l1 comma l2 store it into some variable and then this context diff will give us a iteratable so we'll iterate through the differences between these two lists b and c d is equal to that is print of colon print d so this will give us exact location uh, the point or the index where there is a chair difference between these two lists so here it is Rust and Java and all other elements are matching. So again, uh, there is other uh, similar other methods which are provided by this library. We'll see that in this particular cell that is uh, dl dot def and between two strings. So I'll pass in the string which is we have already declared string one comma string two. And this will also generate a iteratable. So what I'll do is iter is equal or this in being either print. So if we see here, uh, if we go back to the strings, what we have A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So there are totally five elements, five unique elements along with the space. So if we see here, uh, the difference between the string one and string two is, okay, it is changing in position of C, which is in place we have D and in D we have E. So overall the difference is it is only that we have we have removed C in the string 2 and added E. So it is like how many steps you have to do to move from string 1 to string 2. Okay. Here it requires two steps that is we have to remove C okay and we have to add E. So that is the difference the overall difference between these two strings. Now next what we'll see is to get a close matches between a string and a list of string. So for that there is a function called as dl dot get close matches and here I have declared a string which is a and a list of string and we have to find out which is the close match for a when compared against b a list of string. For that we can pass in a comma b and we'll get the closest match aspect that is the closest matches respect and expect okay so next we'll see something uh, from uh, if you go back to this image if I go back to this image here okay this is something I took from uh, one of my repository and if you go and if you have ever worked on a github uh, git repository right if you make any changes to your repository you will notice uh, the things you have removed from the repository is highlighted as red and it has this minus sign assigned to it and the things that you have added to your repository will be highlighted as green and a positive sign next to it. Okay, it is like basically you are have like difference between these two, like the earlier repo and the updated repo which you have made the changes with. So we'll implement something like this, like exactly what is happening here minus and plus using this two particular list we have here. So S1 is equal to A, B, C, which is my current repo and it has been updated uh, by removing the third element and updated with the uh, other element D which is my updated repo. So if I want to get a pattern like this minus and plus what we have to do is using dl dot unified difference 
between s1 comma s2 now this is uh, u b is equal to and for day being u d print d so i guess here okay i didn't run this particular cell so we are getting this error okay so if we see here uh, if we compare this to the gitter repo here we are seeing like minus the things that we have removed and plus for what we have added so if we compare against these two list s1 and s2 i have removed minus c to get to s2 where i have added a d element d so similarly we can see that difference here when we do it with unified difference okay these are some of the functions provided by diffleb okay which can help us to identify the difference between string sequences or a list of string okay so we can use this library for that particular purpose and with that i'll be closing this video yeah thank you